<laughs> we certainly do, Tom. And you know, I'm pretty jealous of where you're standing right now. It looks so fun, but you're so bundled up. Pretty chilly out there. <laughs> Look at the poor guy. He's all bundled up, man. That's usually me out there. But we're happy to have the chief out there checking out the Ice Palace. I'm pretty happy and comfortable here in the warm, comfortable confines of the WPTZ studio where it is not in the single digits. It's in the mid-60s. But it's two right now, Burlington. Uh, the old uh, goose egg there, Plattsburgh, one below Saranac Lake. A little bit warmer as you head on out to the south where temperatures are barely in the double digits. But not for long. We're flashing ahead to tomorrow, Valentine's Day. Hope you get your flowers and chocolates already because I'm sure it's a hot commodity at the stores. It's going to be pretty cloudy as we're waking up. Temperatures below zero still, thinking about eight below. Not a lot of warmth tomorrow. We'll hold it in the pre teens for highs and we'll have some snow showers around too. We'll be tracking a system here that's off to our west. Just a clipper for us, bigger deal for coastal New England. Storm Tracker 5000, nice and clear out there tonight. But we do have some advancing clouds. That's the clipper system that'll be coming through for tomorrow into Sunday and bring us just some periods of light snow. But this thing is going to hit the coast. It's going to explode. Major storm for coastal New England. A foot of snow or more. And blizzard conditions, too. They have the blizzard warning up for coastal New England. Winter storm warnings now in effect for our upper valley sections on the New Hampshire side of things and winter weather advisories for eastern Vermont. We'll talk snowfall amounts in just a minute, but I want to let you know, and I kind of want to cut this off at the past, this isn't really our storm in terms of the North Country. We'll see minor accumulations, but it is a big deal for eastern New England. We will see the wind, okay, and we'll see the cold, too. It's going to be absolutely brutal Sunday into Monday. In fact, let's take a look at the winds together. These are forecast wind speeds for your day on Sunday in the 20s of miles per hour. Yeah, on a summer day, that ain't too bad. But when you factor that in with temperatures likely to be in the single digits, it's going to feel like it's about 40 degrees below zero. And that includes right here in the Champlain Valley, not just those typical cold spots of the Northeast Kingdom and Adirondacks. On Futurecast, we have the advancing clouds for tonight, but not much in the way of snow. We're thinking the snow showers develop through the day on Saturday and continue into Saturday night. But notice where the heaviest banding of snow is and the majority of it going towards the coast as that system really intensifies. But still some lighter snows going on Sunday morning across eastern Vermont, Upper Valley, into our New Hampshire sections as well, places like Keene, and over towards uh, Wellback Ski Area, too. Hey, by later in the day Sunday, I think we're going to wrap this thing out of here. But before this thing is all said and done, a couple of inches for the Adirondacks and the same for uh, the Capital District in Vermont and up towards the Northeast Kingdom. But you can see that stripe of about four to eight inches along the Connecticut River Valley. Here, Champlain Valley, an inch or two, perhaps as much as three. But notice where the bullseye is, 10 to 20 inches for coastal New England. Your forecast for tonight, we'll do about 10 below zero, but temperatures probably coming up just a bit overnight with the increase in clouds. But yeah, very cold for sure. Your highs tomorrow, teens, but snow and wind will make it feel a little bit colder than that. And on the five day plus two, here we go. Brutal stretch, Sunday and Monday. That's going to be the worst of it. All right, then we're going to start to see some reprieve. Temperatures start to come up Tuesday into Wednesday. Chance for snow showers on the day Wednesday. For the end of the week, we have some sunshine around with temperatures in the low teens.